A user's permissions in Seller Cloud has three parts, including their role type, the entities like orders and catalog and reports and so forth, and their rights or permissions to access those entities. On the Manage Employees page, the role type determines the general access to Seller Cloud. The client admin has access to everything. This role's permissions are locked to all that by default. The client admin sets the permissions for the other role type, employee. Employees are limited to permissions their client admin sets for them. Let's add a new employee to see how this setup works. Click the big green button right at the bottom of your Manage Employee page. Enter the employee information required, including a default company. You'll be able to choose other companies and permissions later on. We'll discuss the security templates in a minute. Head on into the toolbox and open Permissions. Then click on Edit to continue. Open the General Panel's list of permissions. Just select the ones that you want or choose all and then save to pick the entities for the employee to access. Now you'll select the tasks that he or she can perform on that entity, such as only be able to view data or be able to edit it. Create and delete are for actions performed on an entity. For example, a user with create rights for orders can create one. And the same applies to delete and have access to the entity's toolbox. Use the advanced permissions to allow for specific actions. And choose at least one company before saving. Choosing all will give the employees those same permissions across companies. Whenever you save an employee's permissions, you can either keep them as custom permissions or save them as a new security template. This is just a defined set of permissions that can be applied to any employees. Let's make a new one here by selecting New Template and giving it a unique name and then Save. Then whenever you add a new employee or edit an existing one, you can just open their Permissions tab and choose the template from the drop-down list. You can also make a new template from any existing ones. One way is to open a template you have with permissions you want to use, and then click on the Copy icon. Here's where you enter the new template name and then Save. And then click on the new one so you can customize it with unique permissions for future use. Just unlock it and choose your permissions by clicking the list icon. and then save your new choices before saving your new custom template. You can easily update employee permissions and templates anytime. Note that only the client admin can see the Employees tab to manage permissions and templates. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe to receive the latest updates and information. Contact us today to speak to a representative.